All right, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Rory Bloomfield and I'm the Director of Property and Business Growth with BG Property Holdings. And uh, happy to have here today, Craig Dunkerley, CEO and co-founder of BG Wealth Group. And thanks, Craig, for joining me this afternoon. Yeah, thanks, Rory. Good to be here. So, yeah, so Craig, you know, I've, I've been reading uh, a number of articles lately in regards to the stock market and, and what's going on. And there's clearly a number of competing opinions out there, you know, and, and two in particular that I saw come out through Yahoo Finance, you know, one reference that, that we've, we've officially hit rock bottom uh, as far as, as where the markets are sitting. And others are saying that we're going to continue to see a, a downturn uh, as far as a performance of, of the stock market. So just curious, what, what are your, your general thoughts as far as, you know, have we hit rock bottom? Are we going to continue to see a downturn in the markets? Um, what, what, what's your, what are your thoughts? Yeah, thanks, Roy. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the, the number of articles that are out there, number of videos from different analysts and uh, what their opinions are. When I, you know, I watch the, the Dow Jones, uh, the closest in the TSX, and what I've seen is the Dow come down from uh, almost 30,000, so a little over 29,000, uh, all the way down to 18,000, and then it's come back up to about 24, just under 24. So, you know, when you see this happen, this is basically a normal retracement. When, um, when the market drops or goes up, uh, typically we see a 50% reversal. And then what I've seen in the past is, and that turns around and heads back down. So I'm of the, the thought that uh, we're seeing these couple of different opinions, the two articles you're referring to, but there's many of them out there, and it seems to be a 50-50 split out there. How many think it's going up and how many think it's going down? And um, when I look at that, the average individual trying to buy or sell in this market, take advantage of this market, like I've said before, there's only a few Warren Buffetts out there, and the average individual I see has, um, has lost when they've tried to do this. It's, it's a 50-50 crapshoot. And um, to me, that, that's gambling with your money. And either one of them could be right. Uh, there's a lot of talk from what I'm listening to that although the market has taken a, a large decline, partially recovered from it due to COVID, that we we're actually expecting to be heading into a recession uh, this coming you know, May, June around. And really all that's happened, in my opinion, is that COVID has uh, launched that a little bit earlier. But um, earnings are going to suffer, definitely, with so many things being shut down. And I personally can't see how um, the market's going to recover uh, from where it is right now. And I see it going back down. Right, right. Okay. And, you know, the other thing I've been seeing, I know you've, you've been an active real estate investor for uh, a number of years. Um, and some other articles that I've seen uh, online are referencing that, um, you know, this coronavirus real estate market. In fact, there are going to be greater buying opportunities now than what we saw during the 2008 financial crisis, yes. um, particularly when it comes to uh, distressed assets. So curious what your opinion is. Are we going to see even greater buying opportunities from a real estate perspective compared to what we saw in 2008? What are your thoughts? On yeah, I, I believe we are. Um, back in, in 2008, it was uh, mainly residential that got hit, but this time we have commercial uh, being hit with businesses closing up and some businesses not being able to afford their rents and probably even some closing down. Um, we're very fortunate that um, um, we've recognized this opportunity in our own sound area that um, where we've been able to buy some dis distressed properties already uh, in the past year and a bit. And we see more opportunities, as you know, as you've uh, seen up in Owen Sound, there's more opportunities going to come our way. And, you know, from our side, working with our tenants, making sure that they can get through this, making sure that they take um, availability to the uh, funds from the government to get themselves through it, you know, working together um, with our tenants, uh, I know we can do uh, well up in that market. And yeah, definitely see more opportunities to buy and get better deals for, um, for longer term investments in, as you know, bricks and mortar, right? Right, right. So, so I see, you know, in, in this situation, um, actually one of those articles you referenced, one of the gentlemen who was feeling that the market is going back down from here, he was taking the opportunity to actually do some sells and take some 
some, uh, some profits or some minimal losses. And as you know, we have had a number of our clients who have sold from their, their stocks or mutual funds over the last uh, years and moved into uh, real estate and doing very well and um, feeling comfortable that while the stock market is going uh, crazy and very volatile right now and who really knows which direction it's going to go, they have the stability of real estate investments, which are which for long term and uh, short term uh, can do very well and and safe with being bricks and mortar. Right. So, Craig, in terms of you know seeing greater opportunities now uh, as far as the real estate market goes versus what we saw back in two thousand and eight, what are your thoughts on on how does one uh, really identify these types of of opportunities? For- well, it's, it's really about uh, researching or, or connecting with people who, who've done it in the past. Uh, when we went into Detroit, uh, we looked at a number of different cities around the U.S. that had been impacted and, and where we saw opportunities. But it wasn't just about finding opportunities where prices had gone down. It was about finding opportunities where there was also um, good reason why the property values would go back up. Right, and connecting with people in the area who really knew the market and had invested in that market before that understood it. And what we saw back then was basically the Mayor Mike Duggan, this was around 2013 when we bought uh, in Detroit. The Mayor Mike Duggan was um, a corporate restructure guy and had done very well in corporate and he was moving in to basically restructure and rebuild Detroit. J.P. Morgan Chase was putting money in, Michigan was putting money in, and Dan Gilbert had bought up a number of areas, a native of, um, of the Detroit area who owns Quicken Loans. So a lot of signals were there that made it make sense. This has gone down, but there's a great reason why it can go back up. Basic Warren Buffett value investing strategy. And we've seen the same, as you know, in Owen Sound. Right in Owen Sound, uh, we've seen a depressed area that the city is very focused on rebuilding and regrowing. And then the refitment of the, the Bruce power plant that is a what is that? A uh, 15 year project, 13 billion dollars, 22,000 right. jobs come into the area, 40 or 50 different companies that have to move into the area to support it. Huge opportunity that gives reason why the Owen Sound area will go up in value. And we've already seen that through increased rents ourselves and what have you. So finding a depressed area that has reason to go up is the the best experience that I have had for finding real estate that is of good value and will over the short term and long term do very well. And again, connecting with people who've done it, connecting with people who've had experience, who've had success and, you know, ride with them, see what they're doing. Um, if they can do it, you can do it type of thing. It's a whole mentality that got me into real estate right from the beginning, uh, listening to, um, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, reading his book and listening to Warren Buffett on value investing. And, um, there's lots of people having success. Uh, we're obviously having some, some success. We're having great success and, you know, connect and, um, see what you can do. Certainly, certainly. And I think too, you know, assets, distressed investors, uh, they really help markets bounce back as well. You know, I saw a number of articles where it really it talked about it's not, it's not about taking advantage of the situation. It's about help, helping markets bounce back up. And, um, you know, I think with what, what you did in Detroit back in 2013 and where Detroit sits seven years later, um, it's come a long way. And I'm sure you were thrilled to be part of that, uh, that process. So. Yeah, absolutely. I was. And, you know, I, I credit um, uh, Mike Duggan and, and um, uh, Dan Gilbert with really bringing Detroit along and, and helping it become what it was and many others as well. We were a small player in Detroit, but I do see the opportunity in Own Sound being a much smaller community that we can actually be a big player and we can have impact on improving the downtown core, improving the area for, for everybody involved, whether that be tourism, whether it be for um, individuals who live there, who work there, who have businesses there. Uh, I see it as being a, a strong piece of helping get that community up to, to a nice level again. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate your thoughts on uh, both, both those articles relating to the stock market and real estate. And I uh, look forward to getting your thoughts as we continue to see what happens over the next number of weeks here.
Yeah, abs absolutely. It's, it's uncertainty for, for everybody. And, um, and again, that's where, you know, personally, I felt uh, the comfort of being in real estate and, you know, not over leveraging, being safe, but then watching for opportunities. And uh, I believe we found a very good opportunity in, in Owen Sound. And as you know, we've presented that opportunity to a number of other people who may be interested in diving into uh, real estate for themselves in an area like Owen Sound. And, you know, I just, I, I think people should be very uh, cautious right now, think about what they're doing and are they really prepared to handle the risk of the stock markets and the uncertainty of the stock markets. Great. Well, thanks again, Craig, for uh, joining me and talking about stock market and, and your thoughts on real estate and, and where things might be heading. And I look forward to uh, doing this again in the near future. Absolutely. Thanks, Roy. I do as well. Take care. All right. Thanks, Craig. Thanks. Bye.